welcome to career plus one second today we are going to discuss some important numericals based on coulomb's law of electrostatics force these numericals are very important for ss final year examination 2021 from this academic session career plus started online tutorial classes apun jodi career plus er pura bahut durot ase apun jodi dinot khomor abhav tente ghorote bohi physics chemistry mathematics sikar babe amar logo jojo koribo pare eta assignment tumalokor babe न्यूमेरिकल तो सॉल्व करिबा आरो कमेंट सेक्शन ओर आन्सर बिला अपलोड करिबो ओके टेक क्वेस्चन नंबर 1 वी आर गोइंग टू डिटरमिन कूलम फोर्स बिटवीन टू अल्फा पार्टिकल्स सेपरेटेड बाय डिस्टेंस दैट वन सो दैट मींस एट फर्स्ट यू शुड नो द चार्ज ऑन ईच अल्फा पार्टिकल अल्फा पार्टिकल नथिंग एल्स हीलियम न्यूक्लियस हीलियम न्यूक्लियस दैट मींस charge on each alpha particle is nothing else twice of the charge of each proton helium nucleus have two proton so that means uh, 2 into 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb they are separated by distance small r also given 3.2 into 10 to the power minus 15 meter Remember, 10 to the power minus 15 meter means simply Fermi. This is also known as Fermi also. So, we know Coulomb's force F is equal to K Q1 Q2 by R square. In case of air, we can simply write K is equal to 1 by 4 by epsilon naught Q1 Q2 by R square. And the value of K for air or vacuum for both the cases. 9 into 10 to the power 9 and put the value of q1 q2 and r 15 whole square you just do the calculation you will get the answer with yourself and you should get the answer is 90 newton next question to look at me as a medium or such as taking a video learning my question to home a translate code is question to any well we have to determine the distance between two proton charge that two proton charge that their electrostatic force of repulsion the hatur major sthiti vidyutik bikorkhoni bolor man kar homan hoy ji kono eta protonor ozonor homan hoy ji kono eta protonor ozonor homan hoy okay so for that you should know the mass of proton you know the mass of proton m is equal to 1.67 into 10 to the power minus 27 kg then charge of proton q is equal to plus e is equal to 1.619 small r distance between the two proton so according to the equation weight mg is equal to electrostatic force of repulsion between the two proton that one m z just put the value of that one k 9 into 10 to the power 9 you know that acceleration due to gravity 9.8 point zero four sixteen point three six 10 to the power minus 2 that means you will get the value 0 0.014 so therefore separation distance small r is that that means 1.18 centimeter this is the answer come to the next question according to the question there is a pit ball there is a pit ball a a having mass 9 into 10 to the power minus 5 kg and charge 5 micro coulomb okay just above that ball there is another pitch ball b is placed b is placed at only 2 centimeter apart just above the a so this is the distance of 2 centimeter now question is that you have to determine you have to determine charge and nature of the charge on b okay that means you know this is positive or 
negative you see that one a will remains stationary at its original position if and only if the resultant force acting on a is zero you see at present weight will work downward direction that means weight on a downward direction if the electrostatic force on a becomes equal to weight then only it will remain fixed this is the logic fine so that means since this is a is a positive charge definitely b must have negative charge that means chain of the charge is negative then only there will be electrostatic force of attraction on a and which will work against the weight so this is the electrostatic force of attraction it will remain stationary if if f becomes equal to w this is the condition so therefore we can write sign of charge sign of charge on b is negative type and the condition is that electrostatic force of attraction f is equal to weight of a so that means g say this is m1 and this is q1 and the charge of b b charge to ami dhori lulu q2 so to ami uliya bola ami na jan 9 into 10 to the power 9 9.8 do the further calculation U2 is equal to do the further calculation and finally you will get the answer as 7.84 into 10 to the power minus 12 coulomb which is known as pico coulomb this is the answer come to the next question all of you write the equation I am just going to explain the question one by one two equal and similar metallic sphere separated by some distance they are named as a b same charge suppose q q they are going to repulse each other by the force of amount say um, 2 2 into 10 to the power minus 5 newton yes a aru b duta dhatob golok jar adhanor man saman aru ta hator major bikor khuni bol f is equal to iman c an eta dhatob surface dhatob golok jak prothomote a r sansparkh rakhilu c is another spherical metallic body touch to a then what is going to happen tetia ki hobo charge on a agote junto a charge asil it is going to be equally divided so now charge on a will becomes q by 2 and c also q by 2 after that c is placed in between a and b exactly at the midpoint this is the position of a b and c comes here so, hospital ko trokhar paso ta mingi kuri lu, seek a aru b thik mudho bindu chthapan kuri lu. So, it is a sars q by 2, c sars q by 2, aru b sars agonishen hakil q. It is c uparat pozukto wa lobdha bolor manto uliya bolage. Now, we are going to determine resultant force on c. It is very much clear, all are positive sarses. A going to repulse c along plus x axis say this is said to be f1 a seek plus x axis for phale bikor hon kori bo aru hai bikor honi bolor manto dhuri lulu f1 at the same time b also going to repulse c along minus x axis so ake dore b a seek minus x axis for phale bikor hon kori bo aru a bolor manto dhuri lulu 
एफ टू कि उलिया लगे एफ ओवान और एफ टुर लब्ध बोल मान तो उलिया लगे दिश इज द्वेशन गिभेन रिपालसिव फोर्स विटुईन ए एंड बी एफ इज इकुअल टू के किऊ स्कुएर किऊ किऊ कि स्कुएर बे डिस्टेस आर आर स्कुएर उच इज टू इन टू टेन टू दि पवार माइनास फाइव निउटन दिश इज दिवेन रिपालसिव फोर्स नाउ फलोईंग डेट फिगार एफ ओवान इज इकुअल टू एफ ओवान इज द फोर्स विटुईन ए एंड सी के किऊ ब टू एंड एगेन किऊ ब टू डिवाइडेड बार्लियर द डिस्टेस वाज आर नाउ द डिस्टेस बिकम्स आर बै टू एंड आर बै टू सो इट उल बिकम्स सीम्पलि आर बै टू होल स्कुएर सो फाइनेल यूल गेट के एंड एफ टू इज इकुअल टू एफ टू इज इकुअल टू एफ टू इज द रिपालसिव फोर्स इन विटुईन बी एंड सी के सार्ज ऑन सी किऊ ब टू इन टू सार्ज ऑन बी किऊ डिवाइडेड बर ब टू होल स्कुएर सो फाइनेल इट उल बिकम बर स्कुएर इ स्कुएर बर स्कुएर इट इज क्लियर फ्रम दैट इक्वेशन एफ टू इज ग्रेटर देन एफ वन सो डेयर फोर रिजाल्टेन फोर एफ इज इकुअल टू एफ टू माइनास एफ वन दैट मीन टाइस स्कुर स्कुर माइनास के स्कुर आर स्कुर सो फाइनेलि के स्कुर बर स्कुर तो दैट मीनस के किऊ स्कुर बर स्कुर मीन टू इन टू टेन टू माइनास फाइव फाइव निउटन वन सच टाइप अफ सीमिलार निमारिकल फर अल अफ यू यू जास्ट ट्राई टू सल्व इट एंड आपलोड यूर एन्सार ऑन द कमेन्ट सेक्शन He had given three equally sars. That means I will just take it as q, q, q. Other sir, very simple. Do it yourself. Try. This is the numerical on factor form of Coulomb's law. Okay. At first see the factor form of Coulomb's law. Say two sars, q one, q two. Say this is q one, q two. Separation distance. Say suppose r, simply r. Q1 going to impose force on Q2 along that direction, which is known as F21. Force on Q2 by 1. Similarly, force on Q1 due to Q2 is represented by F12. Along plus x axis along F21, the unit vector is simply R12. And again, along F one two, the unit vector is simply R two one because it pointed from two to one, and R one two pointed from Q one to Q two. Okay. Now see the position of Q one and Q two. The three dimensional case. The x coordinate, y coordinate, z coordinate. Of uh, Q1 is given. Similarly, for Q2 also given. X, Y, Z coordinate. So that's why we are going to introduce the system by this way. Say this is our three-dimensional case, x-axis, and say suppose y, and say suppose z. The position of Q1 with respect to that origin. Say that one. I am going to draw it. Say that one. So this is R1 vector. Same way. We will get for Q two, say this is R two vector, and R one vector means we can write its positions are given one three two x y z coordinate. That's why one i three z two k. Similarly for R two three five one. That's all. We know that force F two one in vector form simply. K Q one Q two by distance between the two. So F two one. So that means that direction. Sorry, that direction along plus x axis. So distance R one two R one two whole square into along F two one. What is the unit vector? R one two cap R one two. 
Now see step by step. Since R1 is a unit vector, without its master vector, there is no unit vector. So unit vector gives the direction of its master vector. Since R1 is pointed along plus x axis, so along plus x axis we can introduce R12 is the displacement vector from Q1 to Q2 or simply we can say the distance between Q1 and Q2 is R12 which is represented in terms of vector by this way. Right. Angular law vector addition we can simply write R2 is equal to R1 plus R12 because R1 and R12 is a two vector in the same direction and R2 in opposite direction. So therefore R12 simply R2 minus R1. Magnitude, therefore its magnitude. Therefore R12 now now r12 is equal to simply r2 minus r1 put the value of r2 and r1 r2 that one r2 minus r1 3 minus 1 2 plus 5 minus 3 is 1 k so it becomes r12 vector therefore its magnitude r12 root over 2 is square so that means you will get 3 3 is the answer so therefore to determine the value of f to 1 k t1 q2 by r12 square and r12 k don't be confused r12 under mode means simply r12 so therefore 9 into 10 to the power 9 c square r1 to cap r1 to cap okay i have forgotten to uh, simplify it r1 to cap means simply r12 by its value r12 means factor r12 twice divided by its value 3 3 so you can write it by this way r12 unit vector means that one twice divided by 3 so finally our answer becomes that one you just simplify it you will get that answer 2 is equal to minus f21 therefore f12 is equal to minus 5 into 10 to the power minus 3 twice i twice j minus k newton this is the answer Always connect with Career Plus and heartiest thanks for watching the video.